Hi, it's me, Daphne, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be building my new bookcase and my new lamp. This is my new, like, hanging lamp. I have this bookcase, but I got a new bookcase, which is on the floor over here, that I need to assemble. My current living room setup has this arching lamp and the dining room table, and I had a basket over there by the couch with blankets and stuff, but I've moved those blankets and that basket behind the mirror. And I'm gonna take the current lamp and replace it with one that takes up less square footage because the one I have right now is just too big for the space and I wanna put the bookcase there behind the dining room table. I think it will be a good spot because it will be in frame for when I'm on video calls, when I'm doing live streams and stuff like that. And also that's the place that Chase was fine with me putting it. <laughs> I thought there were other places in the apartment that I could afford to put it. Like we have this big empty wall close to the bathroom, but he didn't want to block the bathroom. And I think this is fine over there. Just kind of cramped, but we'll make do. Plus again, like I said, I think it'll be cute in my shots from my desk and stuff. So we'll see how it all fits. It's definitely going to be a tight squeeze, but when you live in a New York City apartment and you have only so much space, that doesn't mean you want to live any less. You know what I mean? I still want to have the things that I want to have, which is books and bookcases. So we're going to make this work as best we can. Right now I'm going to set up this lamp because I'm pretty confident I can do that on my own. I'm very excited for this new makeover. Let's just get started. Here are all the components for the lamp. Let's build it. Easy. I was worried that this wasn't gonna be high enough, but actually the height is pretty good. It's pretty much the same height as the original one. It just takes up way less square footage. It just goes straight up versus this horrible arch <laughs> that I don't need in my small apartment. Now I just need to put the lampshade on it. How many Daphne's does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> now let's test to see if this bad boy will light. And it's dimmable? Oh my God, this is great. So here it is. And then the bookcase will fit here. And I'll get rid of this lamp, this other one. I'm so proud of myself. I was shopping around for lamps for so long and this one was really good. I got this from, I think Wayfair. If I can find it again, I will link this lamp down below. The bookcase I have is just a Billy bookcase, so. I'll link that also. <laughs> it is finally time to build this bookcase that has been sitting on the floor for weeks, okay? It is the end of December. Much time has passed. Things have finally slowed down enough in life where I have the weekend to myself with my husband and we can finally put this bookshelf together. Let's get started. I'm very excited. <laughs> and I'm sure Chase will be excited to not have this just on the floor. I'm gonna start building it. I'll need his help. I'm just gonna pop in some like little update, montage maybe clips, because you don't need to see me build the whole thing, okay? We're just here to like put it up and then get the books on the shelves. So I'm very excited, yay! <laughs> show you. So this is what we have so far. Obviously I need to put books on it. My new lamp with it tucks in beautifully. And this is all our cables and stuff that I moved. So much better. So this is what it looks like with Chase sitting at the table. He's still got plenty of room. It's not as 
stayed as fit as I was worried about. I mean, it's cozy, but it's fine. We're in a small apartment. We're making the best of it. And then I want to see what it looks like when I'm sitting at my desk. <sighs> It'll look like this when I'm sitting on live streams and stuff. So happy. I will fill it probably tomorrow. <laughs> it is the next day and I'm very excited to put some books on this shelf. I have to figure out what I want to do. So I was thinking my original shelf, which is behind you. I was thinking that with this shelf, I would probably do this as my unread shelf. And then for the new shelf, we'd probably make this the red shelf that way it's a little more tucked away so i figure i wouldn't be reaching having to reach for books back here as much because i already read them but i'm like a little overwhelmed because you've probably seen it already and i'll link it in the corner for you if you haven't i did like a fun bookshelf reorganization for my one bookshelf before i got the second one just to like feel it out vibe it out see what i liked with organizing my shelves just taking them all off and having to put them all back on again is quite the labor of love and despair. <laughs> so here are all the books that I have. It's kind of a lot. It's double stacked back here, triple stacked kind of. I already know what I want to put at the very bottom of this bookshelf in the most inconvenient spot are all of Chase's books because <laughs> he's not gonna pull them that often. I'll put like some of the school workbooks and stuff that I have. Like I have a French workbook and like some workbooks I had from college that I think would be cool to like reference at times, but I don't pull them out very often. So I, I'll put all those books down at the very bottom here. Here's some stuff I definitely wanna put on the bottom, stuff like this, like workbooks and stuff. God, it's heavy. I still have to read this for my other friend, Nikita. Her sister like wrote a book and I told her I would shout it out more on my channel. Shout out to this book. I haven't read it yet. It's The Way of the Goddess by Ajmira. More nonfiction, these books. I finished this. Did Chase finish this? I'm pretty sure he finished this. Yeah, he did. Let's take this super old NJ Transit ticket out of it. 2014. Wow, that was sophomore year of college. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. This I need to read nonfiction. Uh, Chase's books. Some of these are good. Like some of these I would also want to read. Okay, I have the Harry Potter box set. Controversial, it was on sale, but I bought it anyway because I really want to do a reread and then everybody's like talking about that one fan fiction. I forget what it's called right now. Something with an M maybe? It's Hermione and Draco romance. And I was like, ooh, I just really want to reread the books. I think I only read the first one and the last one and I've seen all the movies many, many times. Excited to have this, even though it's a little controversial, but these books are all like priority things. Need to go on the top. Oh God, then I've got Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, another controversial situation, but I'm gonna have to read those for video. Seasonal stuff. Okay, here's more Chase books. That can go on the bottom. <laughs> oh gosh, this title I hate. He's got this like New York graphically sexual and one of the all time best-selling gay novels, but it's like the F word, which I think is such a harsh word and obviously like its own voices and stuff like that, but um, I don't love that that's on our shelves as like a word. Let's just go ahead and see where that puts us on the shelf. Okay, just get it started. Some of these I would definitely like still wanna read. Like Afro-pessimism is a cool one. I think this was like gifted to us. It's not really organized much, but it's a good start. Maybe I'll put some more nonfiction down here. Now let's do my red book of the month books. We'll take them off, move them to the other shelf, which should be easy because I think this is an order of things like unread and then read down here. Let's move some of the knickknackage. Out of the way, please, knickknackage. Oh my God, my life is a mess. It's messy. I can't stand it. Please don't judge me for the mess. I picked up two new books from my mom's house when I was visiting her over Christmas. I have the first ever historical romance I read, The Flame and the Flower by Kathleen Woodowis, controversial one. And then this one, it's called Daphne by Josh Mallerman. My mom bought this and she read it. She thought it was pretty good. Nothing spectacular, I don't think she thought, but it's like, <laughs> a killer named Daphne. She's like harassing the basketball team or something, like the girls' basketball team. It's just funny, I played basketball growing up. My name's Daphne, I just thought that was funny. Some nonfiction, I have this Jamaican, the story of Jamaican people that I got when I was in Jamaica on vacation, which I'm really excited to like dive into. I really gotta like prioritize reading nonfiction more. Oh my God, there's a lot of books. A lot of books that are about the same height. Let's just chuck them up there, okay? We're just chucking. And 
then I kind of like when the stamps are in rainbow order. Not that I have a lot of variety in color, but you know. Should we just chuck on the other books that I've finished? I can just base them off vibes. Starting at like Bunny, this yellow one here, and down are all the books that I read. Up are all the books that I haven't read, which makes it so much worse. Like I've read the first one in a couple series, but I kept them in the unread section because I haven't finished the series. Let's just move like all these red books to the other bookshelf. So again, I'm just gonna chuck them on and then we can organize later. I absolutely love this series. I did spoiler reading vlogs for each one of these books. I annotated them like crazy. This series was so good. I have a manga here, but I have more of them. So I might just put the mangas next to each other. That's cute. It's so dark now. I need to pull out like my ring light. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we have left of my original shelf. These are all my unread books, plus some that are on the floor. So if we focus on this red shelf now, let's go ahead and make it logical. So for this red shelf, maybe I can organize it. Like I like the top shelf, how it is with the book of the month books. And then I wanna maybe organize it by like my favorite books and then genres and maybe formats. I only have a couple graphic novels slash mangas anyway. And then I also wanna like have a nonfiction section. So maybe move some of those from the bottom shelf up a tier. I'm gonna cut and I'll get back to you when it's done because the camera needs to charge anyway. And it's kind of overheating. So I finished setting up the red shelf. It's kind of evolved to beyond just red. I ended up deciding to put all of my nonfiction on this shelf down on the lower two tiers. It just felt kind of weird breaking them up. I had a lot more nonfiction than I realized and most of it I haven't read. So like some of it is stuff that Chase picked up that I'm like, maybe I'll read it. And then other ones are things that I wanna prioritize and I just felt weird to separate them. So I just ended up putting them all together. I'll give you a tour. So the top shelf are just like my book of the month books and then a couple others that are about the same height, just like three of them. And then here we have my all time favorite books. So we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, Project Hail Mary, Anxious People, The Jade City Saga, Lord of the Flies, and The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And then we get into my romance little section. A lot of it is contemporary, which flows into historical, actually not even a lot, it's like half and half. And then I have two paranormal books here as well that are romance. And then from the third to bottom shelf, we have just a mix of non-romance books. So a couple contemporary, some sci-fi, a few fantasy and some speculative fantasy type books, one thriller, and then some modern classics, you know, things you can consider modern classic and then like regular classics. So this second to bottom shelf is a lot of nonfiction, starting off with two new like pregnancy books, new moms, new dads. We got this from our friends at our wedding. It's like a little joke. We are not trying for kids currently. That is gonna be a couple years down the line. Then I have some wellness stuff with poetry, normal nonfiction stuff. And then a lot of this nonfiction is about like being black in America, racism, prejudice, like a lot of good discussion books a handful of them I've started but I'm just not good at finishing nonfiction so I want to fix that a lot of them have been gifted to us from family and then at the very bottom shelf we just have some like random nonfiction like workbooks French stuff advice books normal nonfiction mixed in some celebrity nonfiction some religious nonfiction a random fiction book. I should probably move this. This is like a chase book. So chase books kind of go down here. This is just like a mashup of things that I'm like, okay, just like, you know, it's fine here. <laughs> and that just leaves me cleaning up my unread shelves. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is gonna be like my unread shelf, even though obviously it's not all of them, like I said before, but it's gonna be most of the books that I haven't read on here fiction wise. So for this, I'm thinking we reorganize by books that I'm most excited about. So like top of my TBR, I want it to be at eye level so that I'm reaching for those things first. And then beyond that, maybe by genre and vibe and size. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll cut back to you.
All right, so here is my organized red shelf. I have two completed shelves and they look quite full, which is alarming. <laughs> But I love it. It feels like less cramped. There's a little more breathing room in both of these shelves now, which I like. I'm gonna try to not just pick up random books for the serotonin, you know what I mean? And read them. And then if I don't like them, then I can pass them on to the next person. So this top shelf are books that I just kind of randomly collected. Three or four of them I've bought full price. But other than that, they're just like books that I got secondhand that were gifted to me that I traded for, found in little free libraries and stuff. I'm just like not in a rush to read it. Like I'll get to it when I get to it. So this is my, I'll get to it when I get to it shelf. I have some classics on here that I've had for many, many years that I like to own, but I'm not in a rush to read them. Like the picture of Dorian Gray and other works by Oscar Wilde. I was like terrified by the picture of Dorian Gray when I read it in high school. I do want to reread it at some point. I'm just not in a rush. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but like just random secondhand stuff. And then this shelf here is a fun one. So these are like series that I own. So I have the first three in the Game of Thrones series, the first three books in Cresley Cole's Mortals After Dark series, Chloe Walsh's two books, Binding 13 and Keeping 13, two Lee Bart Dugo books, which aren't really in a series, but like I just put them here. <laughs> And then I have the Bronze Horseman's trilogy, the Fifth Seasons trilogy, and then I have the Poppy War trilogy. So I kind of like that they're all connected. The Lee Bardugo ones kind of throw it off, but it doesn't bother me because they're like the perfect height together and all that stuff. So whatever, we'll let it slide. And then this shelf here is my Priority Reads shelf. So the books that I'm the most excited about, books that I have reading plans for, books that are on my most recent TBR five-star prediction books as well, like Devil in the Dark Water, The Seven Year Slip, a couple Lucy Score books, Forget Me Not, and then I have Fourth Wing and Iron Fling, some books that I'm in the middle of, some books that are Buddy Reads, and the TBR books that I was telling you about. So then this shelf is kind of just like a mashup of books. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to it. There's a handful of romance, regular fiction books. I kept the historicals and the mass market paperbacks together because aesthetically that looks nice. And then just like, just, just randomness, okay? It's just books that like I wanna read, but I'm not like as much in a rush to read them, but I'm more excited about them than say like this top shelf. So that's the logic. <laughs> It's not that logical, but it's logical enough for me and my organizational brain. And then the last two shelves I have here are my book of the month books for the most part. And then a couple like just hardbacks that are about the same height that I'm excited about. Actually, I should probably move this one up. This is the Heaven and Earth grocery store. This one like best book of the year on a couple of charts. So I am excited to get to this earlier in 2024. I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. I have a lot of book of the month books that I didn't get to in 2023 that I really need to. I have been buying less book of the month books because I realize I have a lot on my shelves already and I don't need to just buy books to buy books for the sake of it. I'm buying them to read them. And I have plenty of books that I own that I could read. So yes, I need to get this TBR under control. And then the last shelf here, I just put my box set of Harry Potter books and that's it. All right, that is the final conclusion of my new bookcase setup and like just this whole cozy corner area. I find it to be so much more cozier this way. I'm very happy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And obviously it helps out my channel and I will catch you in another video. Bye.